Bitcoin has hit my previous range point of control target that I laid out to you all in my previous YouTube video where I was full of confidence and saying Bitcoin will hit my higher price targets before any drop. That higher price target, of course, that NPOC at $43,675, which sat too on that previous range point of control. Of course, as soon as we reclaim that value area low, you know, I've been calling and expecting that short squeeze to occur to bring us up to our higher price targets. And until we hit that target, we won't be seeing any drop. Now we can actually see we were correct in calling for that. We did go higher. We have hit that major target resulting in this pullback consolidation. So what I wanna be explaining to you in this video is the plan. What is to come next on Bitcoin and how we can continue to secure some pretty amazing profits in this market right now. And so, of course, the main focus is going to be that, explaining to you exactly the plan that I will be looking at for this week of trading Bitcoin. But I want to start off first with no longer having to transmit my positive energy and smile through my voice only. But as you can see, I am back with a brand new setup and you don't understand the joy and happiness this gives me. I've been one year without this and to finally have it back. Oh, you don't understand the peace and happiness that it gives me. So I'm going to be doing this video as I've always been doing, but with a big smile on my face that you can see. So we can enjoy the love, the passion that we have for these charts, these trades together. So with that said, let's come back over to the charts and uh, explain what I'm looking at next with a new pattern that we have got on the Bitcoin chart to absolutely be aware of right now. So as mentioned, of course, we came up to that previous range point of control on that NPOC and we have got that pullback. So I'm going to remove these levels for now. And after hitting that NPOC, we can, of course, see the around 3% move to the downside that we got. What was interesting about this is the way that we, very similar to 2023 price action, held these higher lows. OK, so at this point, after hitting the NPOC, big move to the downside not taking out that previous low, ending in another higher low. And we can see from the top side, a series of lower highs. So what does this give us? It gives us really simply this lovely triangle. From this triangle, there are a few things I want to lay out which I feel are important. So first of all, we have this Triangle price action, yes, constricting, tightening price action. You know, if you're a Bollinger Band trader, you know the Bollinger Bands are getting tighter. You expect a breakout to come. So, of course, the way this is moving is impulse, consolidation. And from this consolidation, you expect another impulse, right? And what we're looking at is a symmetrical triangle with two outer boundary weekly levels. So you can see the top weekly, 43,925 and a bottom weekly of 41,580. So I would absolutely make sure you have marked on your chart these two weekly levels. I will say this, that this is not to be expected at an exact dollar touch, but they are a zone. So we have a zone of weekly support and a zone of weekly resistance, okay? Because just above us here, we have psychological number, for example. So we would always like to see that pierced through. So I refer to these two weeklies as zones, which could, could potentially give you that fake out scenario, right? Where, let me explain this because as we all know, we love to trade fake outs. The target of this triangle officially, right, is gonna be taken from the, the start of that triangle formation, to the high of that triangle formation. And from that, we have a bigger target, which does have confluence, by the way. The way we are looking at this target is we are copying the exact price movement from that triangle and expanding it to where that breakout could potentially be to the upside, right? And we can see that gives us a target of around 45,850. So you can see that ends up with nice confluence. Once again, we don't look at that as an exact line dollar, but we have this little bit of a zone. Slightly prior to slightly after. Why? Because then we sit just around that $46,000 level, which as we all know has confluence, 46,000 to 46,500. It's a little bit of a zone uh, of confluence above us. 
So why do I mention the weekly levels once again then? Because yes, if we break this triangle, we can be looking towards $46,000. But why would I not be saying, I'll break the triangle 100% we're going to 46K? Well, the reason being is we have this weekly prior. And this could end in that fake out scenario, right? Where we break out, everything looks good, and then we actually come back into the range for a bigger move to the downside. Of course, we don't need to be thinking it is definitely going to be a fake out. But if we are unaware of that scenario, then we can absolutely get wrecked if the fake out occurs. And my aim of these videos is not to uh, tell you, well, this is definitely going to happen. And I know some people crave that. They just want me to come in here and say, this is what's happening on Bitcoin. OK, I am being real. I am being honest with you. Nobody knows with 100% certainty what is happening next. And anyone that tells you that they do is simply a scammer because it is impossible to know with 100% certainty what is happening next. So the way a professional comes in this market that can extract profits regularly, consistently from the market, is they come in here with plans of a bullish and a bearish scenario, and they're aware of ideas which can activate a bullish scenario, but then with new data and time, realize, for example, bullish break, everything looks good, but ending with a fake out and then seeing a sign of weakness. That then means we need to react to that new sign of weakness and trade the charts. So of course, if we start to break out here, I know the target sits around $46,000, but I also, as a trader that has seen this thousands, thousands of times, remember I've been doing this nearly 14 years of trading, I know when uh, I know that I know that fake outs are are very common. So, you know, my aim of this video is just to educate you and and make sure you're aware of these things. OK, so just like we have that target to forty six thousand dollars of the upside. OK, we have a very similar scenario of to the downside, of course. And to do this really simply, we can very similar take the length of this triangle. Right. So take the length of the triangle from the high to the low and we expand it from the low of the triangle where we would see the breakout. And again, a break of a triangle is not something like this, a wick. This is, you know, a bullish reaction, a wick to the downside. So we want to actually see breaks and consecutive closes. We can see this gives us a target down here of close to around 39,500. And what's nice about this is we also have some nice um, confluence down here, as you can see, 39,800. So just around that zone of $40,000, we have a break to the downside. And why do we want to remember that weekly again? Because remember, that weekly offers us that potential of a fake out. Okay, where it looks like it's breaking down, we fake out, let's say we take out these lows here, which are marked in white. Let's say we take out that low, Price comes down, everybody gets really bearish, and it ends in a bit of a failed auction, and then we make our way back up. And that's why you've got to be aware of fake out scenarios. So yes, of course, we need to be aware of the triangle, and we need to be aware of the official targets of that triangle, if and when they come into play. But I think it's also very, very much uh, important to be aware of those kind of fake out scenarios too. And, um, you know, what, what I would be monitoring on this is, is the order flow. And I want to spend a few minutes talking about that because, again, that is very important to me and my style of trading. One very quick announcement before I get on to that. And that is, of course, uh, you all know I'm a fan of uh, Bybit and BingX, right? That's where my primary uh, trading platform is. But now we have actually partnered with a prop firm. So I could do a whole hour talking about prop firms, right? But if you're already educated of what a prop firm is, then just to let you know, uh, we have seen the benefits of prop firms. And there's, of course, a lot of options out there. Um, we have tested amongst others, Top Step, Apex, FTMO, funded traders. You know, we've gone through a lot of um, exploration, let's say, and, and testing out different uh, prop firms. And I have, of course, in the past been not so keen on prop firms. And again, I can explain that in a whole video. I've already explained it in my Discord. But really simply from this uh, video this section. I just want to let you know that we have done testing. We do like top step. So you will see the chart champions coaches myself trading here. And with that, of course, our main <laughs> focus here is being able to partner with a prop firm that can also benefit, you know, the community that watch these videos. 
So very nicely, we've been able to secure a affiliate link, which actually gives a 70% discount from the regular prices. So this is over on the Discord, it's over on Twitter. Um, I've left the link here ending in SHDY, right? Click on that link and you'll be presented with this page where you can read a little bit more about what prop firms exactly are. Click on earn funding on the top right and you can see that around 70% discount. So I've been made aware that they actually, a lot of the time, run 50%, and this is another 20% on top of that, giving a total of 70% discount for uh, for this uh, prop firm. So yeah, I, I, of course, recommend you do your own research. From here, you can trade things such as Bitcoin, the S&P 500, the Nasdaq, all futures products, right? And, uh, you know, we've, of course, had a lot of questions and answers. You can read some of them, them down here. I saw this one actually in the top of my eye. Can you use Atus? You know, you can use Atus to trade uh, via Top Step. And uh, some people were saying that they couldn't get the discount. It didn't show the full 70%. And really simply, uh, I've also confirmed with the Top Step that they say for you to get access to that and future deals, you would need to create a brand new account via our, our link. So if you already have an account to get this full discount and our future offers through this partnership, you would have to create a brand new account uh, under our link, just so you're aware of that. But yeah, this is just one only announcement that I have. Uh, you can get access to this, of course, as always, via the deals page as well on the website. So I will still be primarily trading on Bybit and BingX. <laughs> you know, that's my main exchanges as well as where I can swing trades. Uh, but if you are interested in prop firms, we now have that partnership with Top Step with that uh, nice 70% discount via the link on uh, that. So yeah, that's the only thing that I wanted to make you aware of. And yeah, we will have much more content explaining this to in the courses section. Uh, on the website. And of course, Rivalry has already spoke a lot about it to educate our members. But back to the charts. So what are we looking at in terms of order flow? I would primarily be looking on the break here. Or, and I'm going to keep this simple. Of course, I could spend another hour only talking about order flow. But I would keep this simple and say on the break, we want to be monitoring with 100% certainty, right? The open interest and the delta. Those are the two key components of order flow to keep this simple. So we would like to see upon a break an open interest increase with high positive delta. That would be a strong break. And when that turns to a fake out is if we see this high positive delta with open interest increases breaks above, let's say, the weekly. And then we come back into the triangle. That then ends with a lot of trap longs and a very big fake out failed auction reversal is extremely likely. So the way we judge this is simply by looking at those two key tools. Again, I personally would expand upon this greatly <laughs> and not just use those two on its own, but simplistic YouTube video, make sure you're looking at the open interest, you know, and the delta. You could also say volume in here as well, right? If you're very, very simplistic. Um, so yeah, that's what I would recommend in terms of looking at the order flow. That's how we judge what is a real breakout, what is a fake out, and how to confirm that, okay, uh, by really pairing this price action visually with the Japanese candlesticks on top of the order flow. That together gives us exactly what we're looking for. So, um, yeah, I think it's going to be a brilliant week of trading ahead. Uh, I am uh, back fully with my setup, and as you can see, I'm, I'm just truly feeling blessed, happy, and uh, positive for the year ahead. I think we're not only going to be crushing the trade, but you know, just living some uh, really special experiences together. I think we're going to have a wonderful, volatile market. I can uh, do this in the comfort of my house once more, which I have missed. It's been almost a year since I've been able to enjoy that. And uh, yeah, I think it's just time to have a good routine, uh, stay positive and just, you know, remain focused. What I love, chart champions, trading, being here every day on my computer. That's just what I want. And now I have it once again. I just, ah, I'm happy. I am truly happy. So I hope you are too. I hope you've understood this video. I hope it makes sense with the triangle, the targets, the slight fake out levels to be aware of. And of course, the overall targets that we would have if we get a nice, legit, clean break of either side of this triangle. So I'm going to wrap up here. I'm going to say from the bottom of my heart, thank you ever so much. I truly hope that the teachings and videos that I make for you are worthwhile. I've said it once, I'll say it again, even if it's just one person that comes to these videos 
and is finding them helpful, that for me is, is a worthwhile experience. As long as I'm helping somebody out there, uh, you know, I'm a, I'm a happy person. Uh, so yeah, I, I will say this, thank you for bearing with me for the past year. Of course, I've been here, there and everywhere uh, through, you, you'll find out in time maybe, not through really decisions of my own, but hey, I can just say now, it feels so good to be back in my home. It really does. So thank you ever so much, everybody. I truly love you all. We share a love and passion for the charts. And uh, yeah, let's watch this break out together or of course be aware of the simple fake out taking these highs coming back in thank you and if you want more from myself and the rest of the chart champions team you know where to get it via chartchampions.com thank you ever so much remember those new deals that we got for you via the deals page and i'm going to be signing out here cheers thank you have a wonderful wonderful week and let's crush the charts cheers champs thank you and goodbye <laughs>